I am the Derpy Wall, and this is your daily dose of Minecraft. If you enjoy the series, please make sure to subscribe with notifications on to never miss a video. Thank you so much. For our first clip, I thought I'd start with a funny one today. Doom King really has a powerful shot. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't laugh, but that guy just got destroyed. A player by the name of Tim TM had his first death on his friend's server, but I bet he never predicted this would be his first death. Dying to chickens. If you didn't know, if you have too many mobs in one area, you get kinetic energy and it can hurt you. People have famously lost hardcore worlds because of this. This player's friend went AFK and then became a tornado. I mean, he looks like he's having fun. Vieta made an abandoned city in Minecraft. And the link for the download is in the description if you want to go check it out. A few people in the comments asked him how long the build took, but he hasn't responded yet and I'm kind of interested to know, it must have taken years. There's so much detail in this. Why does it feel like that the new Bedrock Edition has added in turbulence with this bug that this player found? A player by the name of Jampot, using a custom model data resource pack, has created clones of himself, and he used it to troll his friends to make him think that he brought 20 accounts. This player has made a magical throwable axe, <laughs> and it looks so cool, I really want one of these. And apparently it's a God of War reference, but I haven't actually played that game. <laughs> I don't know how you guys always seem to get yourself in these kinds of situations. I see a lot of these clips where the textures just completely get destroyed. I mean, what are you, how do you even achieve this? And how do you fix it? Oh, I just saw a comment. Apparently he managed to fix it by rebooting his game. So thankfully he didn't lose his world because of it. Here's a pro tip for you. If your water source keeps freezing over, just use waterlogged leaves and then they will freeze no more. I can take this guy. <laughs> this player pranked his friends. This one is actually crazy. A player by the name of Vern Fern has walked 100,000 blocks away from the spawn point in Bedrock Edition. At 400, oh, let me read this correctly. At 4,194,304 blocks away, you'll fall out of the world into the void. If he walks 5,000 blocks every day, he'll make it in 818 days. And he's determined to do it. This is something he's actually going to do. But I just wish him all the best and we'll feature his progress every time he gives a little update. If you've seen another episode of The Daily Dose, you know I am obsessed with ice boat racetracks. They're just so cool to watch and I always feature them if one comes up. This time Dan Dan and his cousin made one which took around 4 hours to create. And the thing that actually makes this one really cool and stand out from everything else is that you actually switch worlds. But are we supposed to just ignore the fact there's water in the nether? What's going on here? Most Satisfaction has reimagined the end. The mod which is called The End Reimagined The Nowhere is actually available for download. And this is its trailer, it's kind of beautiful. Goblin is showing us his iron farm in motion and it looks kind of cool. And it has to be probably the most unique mob farm I think I've seen ever. The design is just so cool and he even provided a download link for you guys. 
Oh, and uh, if you're this far into the video and you haven't left a like, comment, or subscribed, I might have to put you in this farm as well. I'm only kidding, guys. I'm a peaceful whale. Or am I? Okay, now we're on the real content. This is what everyone wants to see. Hugman76 is doing the Lord's work as he's adding capybaras into Minecraft. We've all wanted it, and now it's a thing. Here are the animations. This is a sneak peek into Steve's morning routine. He's just like me, man. This person's YouTube is linked below, by the way. You should go check him out. This is just so cute. It's why I featured it. There's no other reason. I just thought this was adorable. Am I wrong? If I am, I don't want to be right. I'm slowly becoming to realise that Bedrock Edition has some insanely cool modded things. I mean, like, how does this even happen? It's insane. I really should give Bedrock Edition another go. A player by the name of Use My Contact was just looking back on his old clips and worlds and found this one of him making a chest with commands. How do you just forget that you made that? I mean, okay. Some people are just so good at redstone and make so many things, they just forget that they made a whole chess game in Minecraft, which is, I guess, fair enough. If I make a piston door, I'm bragging about it the whole day. Using the create mod, which is my favorite mod, by the way, you probably know that already. A player by the name of Bubba Boy Bitch, interesting name, has made a working enemy that lets you select which floor you want to be on. I've featured a few of these in the past, but this one just looks so clean. This shader pack will give you a headache, but at the same time, I'm mesmerized by it. I mean, what? Oh, that's awful. No, I can't have this. Imagine playing that for an hour. I just couldn't. Even whilst editing the video, it's just... No, no thanks. HQ Ned, hopefully I said that correctly, it's quite an interesting name. Has a castle build, but he's actually showing us the prison for that castle build, and the design is so cool. And he's actually using a resource pack that isn't going to give me a headache, which is always a plus for me. What are the actual odds of this? This player was just fishing and he actually got the exact same rod back. Like, okay? <laughs> That's so interesting. Like, the odds on that must be insane. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did no one tell me that spiral generation is so satisfying? I needed this information in my life. When Minecraft becomes a war game, enabled by the block front mod.
This panda had to wind up before he sneezed. This is literally the worst thing that probably could have happened to this player. Ouch. Fellow prisoner associates. I got this feeling up inside. I would like to inform you that our Black Diamond Brigade unit is missing in action. We are making every possible attempt at re-establishing communications. But given the local population of the area, I fear the world. Oh wow, you made it this far into the video, so you must have liked it, right? Please make sure to subscribe with notifications on to never miss a video. Thank you so much. You two think you enjoy the video on screen right now, and I do too. Go give it a click, you won't regret it. And as always, thank you so much for watching.